what happens in a, in a general. Um, let's go Moran versus McCall, McDonald versus Deeds. Um, that's probably the most unusual race that would be. Uh, Deeds is arguing he's the best Democrat because he ran very close to McDonald last time. The downside of that argument is that he ran six points behind the top of the ticket last, last time as well. Um, so Deeds does better in rural Virginia, maybe, than, uh, than certainly than Moran. Um, I'm not sure he'll do that much better than McAuliffe would in rural Virginia, but he would certainly do better than Moran. Deeds' problem is running the kind of Democratic margins that they get in the urban metropolitans. McDonald has a home base in Hampton Roads. He's working in Northern Virginia very hard. That would be Deeds' challenge, to find a way to actually capture the, Democrat, the votes the Democrats have been getting in the recent elections. Moran, um, Moran's challenge is getting back to the center a little bit after the kind of campaign, primary campaign that he run. My sense is that um, the business community in Virginia is shifting in part because of Moran's campaign um, so far but in part because the nature of the issues have shifted. The business community is not only thinking about paying for roads and paying for higher education now, it's thinking about card check, uh, it's thinking about um, these unemployment stimulus benefits, issues and where the Republican candidates are more closely aligned. Um, so my sense is that Moran, if he was in the race against uh, McDonald, would really try to run it probably as some kind of center <coughs> progressive against uh, somebody that he's going to try to define as way to the right. Um, that may be the toughest Democratic campaign. It may be a very tough Democratic campaign to win uh, in that front uh, because you really have to change the perception of McDonald to win it uh, on that front. <coughs> uh, McAuliffe would try to get the benefits of being the outsider. That would also be probably the downside that he'd have. Uh, but he'd try to really say he's the person who knows how to deal with the economic crisis, bring jobs to Virginia, and, and deal with the issues that the uh, Democrats need to deal with, or that the, the, the state needs to deal with. I think McDonnell would try to paint McAuliffe really as a carpetbagger, as somebody from Washington, as somebody who has all this Washington baggage, and that's the last thing we need in Virginia uh, on that front. But um, finally, I would say, one interesting real feature about this. Virginia has these off-year elections in part because in part because for years the Democrats did not want to be linked to the national party. Um, that we didn't want to run, the Democrats would say. You know, on the same year the president is running, the Senate races are running, and the like. Because Virginia Democrats something different. The irony is this, in contemporary politics, because there are only two gubernatorial elections going on right now, right? Us and who else? New Jersey. New Jersey, my home state. I should mention, you know, people in New Jersey are furious with this guy Fitzgerald, um, you know, the prosecutor, because he said Illinois was the most corrupt state in the union. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were number one in something, but um, the, re the, the reality on this front, though, is that because of that, political money and political interest flows to the vacuum. There's only going to be two races in the country this year. So any race that's going to send a signal are going to be the races in Virginia and New Jersey. And my sense is that a lot of Republicans nationally have looked at Bob McDonald very closely. And they said, you know, he's a, he's a strong candidate. He's a good, he's a, you know, a good person. Um, he's a conservative. And if we're going to have a revival in 2010, what better place to do it than in the state where Barack Obama carried to so much fanfare and where Barack Obama picked his DNC chief? You know, here's the other thing, I think, for, for Republicans nationally. You know, the media continue to have a debate that the Republican Party really doesn't have. But, uh, and the debate is whether the Republican Party should be a conservative party or a moderate party. I think the debate inside the Republican Party is really just what type of conservative we should be. Um, but McDonald's a conservative. And um, I think there are a lot of folks who would like McDonald to win to show and to demonstrate 
that conservatives can win. It's not just a question of Republicans having to move to the center and be more moderate. It's just the question of adjusting a conservative message appropriately uh, on that side. And that if McDonald can do that, it'll be a big victory and, and put an end to some of this kind of discussion that the party's out of touch uh, with where it should be and it needs to change itself in an ideologically dramatic way. But um, my sense is that because we're one of the only two states involved right now, this is going to be a campaign uh, that's going to be the focus of intense national interest and a lot of national dollars. You already saw um, that Bob McDonnell received a $1 million contribution from the Republican Governors Association. Terry McCall has got almost half a million dollars from a national union. Um, that's just the start of what's going to happen here um, in this election. But this is going to be a very competitive election. Republicans are going to be well funded. They're going to be funded enough to be more than competitive. And so will the Democrats. And all the national attention is going to focus on this. Because like it or not, it's going to be seen as one of the first referendum uh, on uh, Barack Obama. Uh, 